Hey everybody, it's Josh Weasler here. I just wanted to uh, take a minute to shoot this short video um, out at the track on this beautiful Sunday. Uh, everybody take a look. Um, I just wanted to make this video. Um, I saw a video a couple days ago about a very in-shape man that uh, that was calling overweight people lazy. They, he labeled them lazy and uh, he made it he made it out to be where he was trying to motivate people and if he hit that one person that was lazy and overweight, motorcycle, that if, uh, if he found that one person that was lazy and overweight that you know he, it was worth making the video and, and just a little different perspective for me. Being an overweight person myself uh, over the past year, uh, right at about a year now, I've, uh, I've lost about 75 pounds, was uh, 335 when I started, right now I'm about 260. A um, lot more muscle, a lot more in shape, but uh, but lazy doesn't necessarily define the overweight mentality. Laziness is a unwilling to do work or exert energy. Um, as an overweight person myself, having lost all that weight, I will tell you that laziness did not really have anything to do with it. Um, if you're going to label overweight people, um, lazy. Lazy just adds another label that makes people feel guilty, makes them feel like they're not doing enough, makes them feel like it's their fault um, that they are the way they are and actually makes it worse. Um, if you're gonna label them and me and anybody else, a better definition would be lost. Uh, we were lost in bad habits, we're lost in bad mentality, we're lost in, in that cycle that keeps us where we're at. Uh, the human mind, if, if you don't, there's so many options out there on how to get healthy, how to lose weight, how to do all these things that people say this is what you need to do to make it happen. There's so many options out there. The human mind, if there's too many options, it will take the path of least resistance. The path of least resistance is doing nothing or doing what you were already doing. Um, the key to losing weight and to being healthy is not to, not to stop being lazy, it's to build better habits. It's to replace, you know, that that those chips after, you know, in between lunch and dinner with a piece of fruit. It's getting up and making that first habit being just getting your shoes on to go out and take a walk. Not even going out to take a walk, but just minuscule little habits. After it becomes easy, you add to it. If you're out there and you're walking just to the end of the block and back, that's enough to start. After that, you add another block, you add another block. Eventually you're doing you know, half miles, miles. I mean, I consistently now, I, I go out and I walk or jog about four or five miles a day. Never thought I would do that a year ago, but it didn't start like that. It started with a jog to the end of the block and it started with a walk and it started, it, it just starts small. Um, we are lost, we are lost because there are too many options or we haven't addressed something in the past that we've had to deal with emotionally that caused us to eat or we have old programming, old programming from our parents, old programming from our families, old programming um, ourselves where we would eat for emotions. Um, all it is is as a mindset. So it's not a matter of being lazy, it's a matter of being lost and finding your way. Find what works for you, do it, find somebody that's gone through it before. They will be more than happy to help you out. I know if anybody comes and asks me on how to lose weight, uh, 75 pounds later, I will more than happy talk to them for as long as they need um, because I've been through it. I know that without help or without finding your own way, it's not going to stick. So build those small habits, make a decision, and get it done. If you need anything else, let me know. I'll be here to help.